Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna do our last little section in the JSON APIs and AJAX section. It's called Post Data with JavaScript XML HTTP Request Method. So in the previous examples, you received data from an external resource. You can also send data to an external resource as long as that resource supports AJAX requests and you know the URL. JavaScript's XML HTTP Request Method is also used to post data to a server. Here's an example. So first we set up an XHR variable, which is equal to a new XML HTTP request. And then we're going to open it with a post type and we're gonna pass in a URL. Uh, the URL right now is probably just a, a, a long string that's somewhere else. And then we're gonna make it asynchronous is true. Uh, it looks like we set the request headers. So the content type, application, JSON, the character set. Um, and then on ready state change, um, we're gonna say the function if the ready state is four and the status is 201, so if it's successful and it's ready, then we do a server response and we parse the response. And then we add the response to the element with the class name of message at position zero. And we're going to say in the, the text content will be equal to the server response uh, from the username and the server response dot the suffix. Okay, and then we'll just go to the constant we set the body equal to a JSON stringify, and we pass in, well, it looks like we pass in our username. And suffix looks, loves cats. So yeah, and then we do our xhr.send the body. So you've seen several of these methods before. Here the open method initializes the request as a post request to a given URL in the external resource and uses the true Boolean to make it asynchronous. The set request header. Uh, method sets the value of the HTTP request, which contains information about the sender and the requester. Information about the sender and the requester. It must be called after the open method, but before the send method. So after the open method, but before the send method. The two parameters are the name of the header and the value to set to the body of that header. Next, the on ready state change event listener handles a change in the state of the request. A ready state of four means the operation is complete and the status of 201s means it was a successful request. So four means it's complete and 201 means it was successful. The document HTML can be updated. Here we update the HTML. Here we get what we wanna to add to it and here we get the thing and we add to it. HTML can be up. Finally, the send method sends the request to the body value with the username key was given and the user input field. So we want to update the code to create a post request. I'm going to pull this out so it's easier to read. Uh huh. Okay. Update the code with a post request. Then enter your name in the input box and click send message. Your AJAX function will replace reply from server will be here. Reply from server will be here with the reply from the server. In this case, it is your name appeared with loved cats. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I guess we're just going to basically make this same exact thing. Um, I'm gonna call this uh, post request rather than XHR, cause I don't know what that means. So const uh, post request, and we're gonna set that equal to a new XML HTTP TTP request. Uh, make sure you get these right. If you miss, if you make a mistake in spelling it with the tr proper caps, then you will have a problem. So our post uh, request dot open, we're going to make it a post and um, we're going to pass in the URL. What's the URL? JSON placeholder type code dot com slash post. So we can just use URL because we have that variable stored here. Um, and then what else do they have here? True because we want to make it asynchronous. And so the next one, we're going to go uh, post request dot uh, set request header. And I'm just going to paste this in here because I honestly would never try to remember stuff like this. I would just copy it from an existing one on some web page somewhere. And uh, yeah, we'll just put these in a line so it's easier to read. Post request, set request header, set request header, two strings followed by a semicolon. So yeah, and now we're going to do uh, post request 
dot on ready state change. Okay, on ready state change, we're going to set it equal to a function. <clears throat> And within the function, we're going to say, yeah, so if the post request dot ready state change, ready state is equal to four, and it's the uh, post request dot status is equal to 201. Then we go with the constant. Well, let's say console.log the JSON parse string response. I'm not even sure if this is going to work. So let's see what happens if I put something in here. Huh, nothing happens at all. Okay, so post request is equal to the status. I wish I could make this longer. There we go. Well, once we do that, we just want to check to add this guy in here. So let's just copy this in now. Uh-huh. I'm going to stretch this out again. Uh, so here we're getting the element by class ID, server response, pos, xhr. We want to make this post request. Uh, we get the message, the text Content is equal to server response, server response dot suffix. And then, jeez, uh, just copy this guy in there. Const, so we're setting body equal to this guy, stringify. <laughs> and then post request equal to that. Uh, let's run the test. All right, so yeah, basically you just have to pot paste that in there. I changed the uh, post request in there just because I wanted to think about it. Um, I would definitely change this and make this uh, like a uh, message display. And then I would say, um, you know, message display and then say let uh, server feedback. Uh, maybe just feedback. And then we could set this equal to feedback. This is, I'm just trying to make the code more readable. Uh, let's see what happens if we send it. Feedback is not, resp let feedback, feedback. Cool, run the tests. Yeah, but see, again, FreeCodeCamp doesn't like the fact that I'm running, using my own code and cleaning up the code. So the refactoring is not a happy thing here. So I'm just going to actually undo all that. Uh, yeah. Oops. And so now if I go useful programmer. Useful programmer loves cats. Okay, so that's just working. I just wanted to show you how to make a post request. This will be useful in the future, but um, it's kind of a weird time to teach this one. But hope this guys, I hope this helped you guys. Um, that's some really cool stuff. And now we're getting into where we can use these post requests to get data and then throw them into a D3 thing. And hopefully we'll be able to make some cool data visualizations. So this is exciting stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, we'll see you in the next one.